and you worry about it as an artist, they're just showing you their hand and you should run like fuck when that happens. <laughs> What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where I'll be discussing the topic of sampling and just my overall thoughts on the art form because I really do believe it is an art form considering how long the technology has been around and how we use it in modern music today. But before we jump into things, what I need from you is that SLC. Hit subscribe, like, comment, and more importantly, hit the notifications bell to stay in touch with the new videos that we have up and coming. All right, so let's get into it. Sampling, first and foremost is, I believe it's an art and a skill. Some people think it's just, you know, you hit record on one of these pieces of kit and the sound comes in and you mess with it and you do whatever. I think the absolute opposite and it took me a while to get to this place considering I actually do play some instruments but I think with sampling and when it's done very well and seen as an art and a skill set is first and foremost it's pushing you to hear things in a certain manner when you can almost predict the outcome of how it would sound looped or changing the, the loop structure instead of two bars, maybe it's three bars. How would it sound if I took the last part of that loop being, you know, the third and fourth beats and made it, you know, the second and third? Things of that nature. I, I think it's a real skill set that not everybody has and it needs to be developed over time. Point number two is originality is absolutely crucial when it comes to sampling it allows you to do so much creatively so it gets a bit tiring when you hear the same lazy style of sampling and when I say lazy style when you hear someone use a sample the exact same way for that particular genre that somebody else has done and maybe 10 or 20 guys have done the exact same way it just gets a bit tiring um, originality is just crucial in, in my thoughts when it comes to sampling. Point number three, you've probably seen some of my other previous videos on this like samples to retire, um, just some arguments I've had with you know common samples being out there, but I don't think I've said this point explicitly as I am now, which is just because you can sample it doesn't mean that you should sample it. I can't be any clearer than that. Um, there's a lot of people that just want to play this quantity game and, and put out the same shit that other people have done before and then they wind up buying their own shit and pushing the tracks up and thinking that's seemingly legitimate when it's far from it. Point number four is some guys get bogged down with, oh man, if should I sample that? Am I going to get sued? What will happen if I get sued? And the reality is, is that today's music environment is just so different than what it was 20, 30 years ago, where if you used a sample and it wasn't cleared, that people would come after you very hard. What you do find, however, is people will be very, um, I guess, strategic in terms of how they come after you if you have a song that tends to blow up with the sample. So I would say begging forgiveness is just the best way to go with this. Do not limit your creativity by thinking about all of these what if scenarios that will likely not even occur. So just go for it, sample the damn thing, be creative with it, see what comes out and should something pop up later, have that discussion and beg for forgiveness in it. Point number five, is to run and run very far whenever a label suggests to you that you should incur all of the costs to clear a sample. It's actually so stupid and ridiculous. This actually happened to me. Um, <laughs> it is such a stupid and ridiculous suggestion in today's dance music industry environment for a label to tell an artist go out and clear that sample and then we'll put it out. It's, it's, just, it's just so stupid. There's no money, amount of money that that artist can come up with to try and clear the sample and process it. It's just better that you say, hey, we're, 
we're not going to continue with it. And it's better as an artist to just release the thing independently and see what goes on. And if you do have some sort of legal action, which is highly unlikely, um, but should it come up, then you can have that conversation about negotiating uh, royalties per unit. I mean, Africa Bombada did this with uh, Kraftwerk when he sampled Trans Europe Express for um, Planet Rock. Uh, and they had that discussion along with the label Tommy Boy, who were, who were the ones that put it out. But when a label tells you to incur all of the cost up front and you worry about it as an artist, they're just showing you their hand and you should run like fuck when that happens. And there you have it. Those are some of my thoughts on sampling. Let me know what you think. Jump in the comments, hit like or dislike if you don't like the video. I usually get involved in a conversation within 24 to 48 hours of posting each of these videos, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And more importantly, hit the notifications bell and subscribe to stay in tune with the new videos that we have up and coming. Much love and respect to you. Peace.